Video of suspects opening fire on a Fox 2 news crew with what appears to be pellet guns. Fox 2's Andy Banker was hit in the head, but not seriously hurt. It was right along here, Spring Avenue near Chippewa. It was around 1245 in the afternoon. I was using my phone to send an email, had my back turned this way, and I never expected this. Ow. Photographer Brian Ledford and I first heard the rapid fire, then saw what appeared to be gel blaster style guns made for airsoft games. There were male teens firing pellets directly at us from the front and rear passenger seats. I was hit in the head and torso. Brian was not struck. It did hurt. I was surprised. Missouri State Rep Steve Butts knows the feeling. He was shot just below his eye in an incident similar to ours a year and a half ago as he was walking to his car from his home in South St. Louis. And just all of a sudden I hear this little <laughs> sound and I mean, you know, right, right about here. I thought I got stung by a hornet or a wasp. Then I saw these two kids slowly drive by and they're laughing and I see him slink down with a very small little pellet type gun and I'm like, son of a gun, those guys just shot me. Police report cases across the country since the spring of 2022. A woman with her child in a stroller in Florida and a boy shot while riding his bike in Georgia. Police say the suspects typically record videos of the victims being hit and share the videos on social media. St. Louis police responded in our case. Ow. They're looking for at least three suspects in a blue Honda four-door. They have the car's license plate number. Representative Butts says this has to stop. It's not a game. Pull that, that kind of prank on the wrong person who's armed. I, I just think those kids are going to get shot, and there's going to be a tragedy. It's a dangerous time to be playing around with guns. The suspects in this case are wanted for felony assault in the third degree. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News. We are all thankful that Andy and Brian are okay. Many times, guns like those used in these incidents fire off what are essentially water beads. This year, those are one of the top toys listed by consumer groups for parents not to buy.